Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, Blue Ridge Community Church's online Sunday school. I hope you guys had a great week and are looking forward to the start of a new week. Um, so today we are going to learn that God cares about the details. So let's see how well you guys can describe details. I want everybody to make a telescope, a pretend telescope. So let, let, let's do it like this. Let's make a telescope and look through it and look through the room that you're in. And let's try to find a detail that you've never, ever noticed before. So I am looking at a light switch in my house that I've never noticed before. Um, so I want you guys to find something. And then I want you to pause this video and I want you to describe that detail to your mom or your dad or your older brother and sister, whoever you're watching this video with. Okay, so get out your telescopes, find a detail, Pause the video and describe that detail. Okay, so I hope you guys um, I found a detail and, and described it and uh, told somebody all about it. Now, I want you guys to take out your Bibles and we are going to turn to Matthew, which is uh, the very first uh, book of the Bible in the New Testament. And we are going to go to chapter 10. And we are going uh, to uh, look at, at verse 30 in, in just a second. So sometimes we don't always notice the details in things, just like you found that thing that's probably been in your house for a really long time and you never noticed it before. But God cares about the details. So uh, he cares about our details so that we can then care about others. And one way that God cares for us is by giving us the Bible. And the Bible is very special, and it's full of details about what God has done. God can talk to us as we read the Bible and experience his caring heart. So let's listen to God as we hear from what the Bible has to say to us today. So the first thing that we are going to do is to read Matthew uh, chapter 10, verse 30. And it says, God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Huh. Well, we have a lot of hairs on our head, don't we? Do you know how many hairs you have on your head? I know I don't. So let's do this. Let's try to count the number of hairs on our head. Okay, here we go. Mm, one, two, three. Oh my gracious, this will take all day. I don't think I know how many hairs I have on, on my head. Did, did you get it right? Did you count the hairs on your head? No, we get bored after just a few minutes. I have no idea how many hairs I have on my head. And I bet you don't know how many you have. But the Bible tells us that God knows exactly how many hairs we have on our head. God knows us better than we even know ourselves. And that's because God cares about the, all the details about you and me. Uh, he cares about those details about everyone else, too. You don't have to know how many hairs someone has on their head to care about that person. So let's explore how God cares about our details so that we can care about others. God cares about the details of his creation, 
even animals as small as birds. So let's read another verse from Matthew chapter 10. And this is comes from verse 29. And it says, when birds are sold, two small birds cost only a penny. But not even one of the little birds can die without your father's knowing it. God cares about the details of his creation. Even animals as small as those birds, those little like sparrows. And we are so much more important to God than birds. If he takes care of the details of a sparrow, we can trust him to take care of the details in our life too. Um, in the Bible, sparrows weren't worth very much, were they? Our verse that I just read, it says that for one copper coin or one penny, uh, you could buy two birds. Wow. They're not really worth a whole lot, are they, in, in terms of money? Do you guys ever feel sometimes like you're not worth a whole lot or you feel like a failure sometimes? Maybe because you're not good at sports or you don't feel as smart as other people. Or maybe you don't, you don't feel worth as much as others because you can't do something that all your friends could do. I know when I was little, everybody did those I spy books where you, you uh, are the magic eye, where you could look and if you squinted and looked a certain way, you could see a different image. I never could do that. Everybody tried to teach me how to do it and I just, I, I couldn't do it. So I did not feel like I was as good as my friends who could do it. But that's not how God wants us to be. Jesus said, even though sparrows seemed worthless to everyone else, God cares about the details. He cares about the tiny sparrows. And here's something else he said about the sparrows. And this comes in verse 31 of, of Matthew chapter 10. It says, so don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many birds. So, so the Bible is telling us that as much as God cares about the details and those little sparrows, he cares about you guys so much more than that. And um, even when you feel like a failure because you can't do something like I couldn't do that magic eye, you know, God sees the value in all of us. And uh, we are just, we're worth more, way more than, than those little pennies to him. And God cares about us so that we can care about others. We can't possibly count the hairs on our own head or someone else's head. Try counting the, uh, if you have a brother or a sister, uh, try counting the hairs on their head. See if you can count it on theirs. My guess is you, you, you can't. But we can remember um, that the details uh, matter to God, and we can remember that there were, that we are worth a million bucks to God. Uh, we can notice how people are feeling too. Sometimes we get distracted by other things, and we forget to notice other people. So let think about like if your brother or your sister's having a really bad day, but you're really wrapped up in, in playing or putting together a Lego set, and you don't even notice that your brother or sister is, is really sad, or you want, um, you want cookies for dinner and ice cream for dessert, and you are just so wrapped up in that, you forget to notice that your mom or dad had a, had a really bad day. So we need to remember that God cares about others just as much as he cares about us, and he cares about the details. So we need to try and remember the details about other people as, as well. So I want you guys to remember this week, I want you to practice learning the details of others in your family and, and your friends, and I want you to remember that God cares about the details. 
So let's say I have a, a prayer. So everybody, uh, let, let's bow our heads and, and let's say our prayer for the day. God, thank you that you care about our details. You made those details about us, Lord. You care about the things in our lives. Help us to care ab about others as we remember how much you care about us. Thank you for this day. Thank you for my family. And thank you for my friends. Help me to remember the details about others. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Remember to pick up, if you are at church, remember to pick up your craft kits or to contact me at uh, brcckidz at gmail.com and we can get you a craft kit for this week. Because we've been talking about birds, we're going to be making bird feeders. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye.